what started out as a decent planting season here in Georgia took a turn for the worse in a matter of just a few days. The state was significantly dry, which can be great when you're trying to get the crop in the ground. But all of a sudden, the rain came and came and came. The 2018 uh, cotton planting season has been kind of a, a roller coaster for us. We started off initially, we were, we were really dry for the most part across the state. Um, and then we, we came into some, some wet weather and we stayed wet. I visited one farm down in Hawkinsville to see how their cotton planting season was going. We got about 2,000 acres of cotton this year and about 1,000 acres of peanuts. And uh, some of our cotton's double crop with uh, wheat. Our cotton uh, crop was really looking good. We started planting around uh, April 30th. Uh, we started planting and as uh, Mark Friedman said earlier, we were uh, really dry to start with the end of April and first uh, two weeks of May. We had hardly any rain and we were able to get a lot, a lot planted. We were actually ahead of schedule around the 15th of May and uh, then the rain started around the 15th. Within just a few days, rain totals were almost unheard of for this time of year. We had uh, some totals up to almost 20 inches of rain um, since mid-May up until now. As you can imagine, that presented some challenges to farmers. And perhaps the biggest challenge that farmers were facing was being able to get the rest of their crop in the ground. We've got fields that we haven't even been able to get back into since the middle of May and we're still trying to get back into them. Traditionally, Georgia's between 15 and 20 percent planted in June. So it's definitely a, a large percentage of the state's cotton crop is going to be a late planted crop. When they do get that crop in the ground though, the worry isn't over. That crop is going to be behind schedule. However, after speaking with UGA Extension, there are some things that can be done to hopefully get it back to normal. First thing we want to do on a, on a June planted crop is probably decrease our nitrogen rates by about 25 to 30 percent. Um, what that does, it, it keeps the plant from staying in a vegetative mode for too long. Um, it keeps the plants a little bit earlier in maturity. Um, and, we, and that's really what we want. We want the maturity to be um, earlier so we can get the crop in and, uh, and harvest the crop. That maturity level is important due to the window of harvest being a small one. The bloom window on a late planted crop is going to be um, compressed compared to a full season. You know, we only get a few weeks of bloom where we're going to be able to harvest those bowls. There's also some concern with the crop that was planted before the rain. When there's a lot of rainfall in such a short time, it can cause growing problems. We use cover crops and conservation tillage, which is mainly there to hold the moisture. But on a year like this, uh, as you can see, we've got a really heavy rye crop in our cotton and it's, it's holding that moisture. And so the, the cotton is being stunted because we've had so much rain and it's not able to dry out as fast. Reporting in Hawkinsville for the Farm Monitor, I'm John Holcomb.